Here she is, lady of the hour. I feel like a movie star. A lot of heady stuff from this one tonight, huh? Oh, yeah. it's very profound. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live in a world without unicorns either. By the way, I'm sorry about that two drink minimum. Trust me, it wasn't a problem. It was just so exciting, the smoky lounge, the stage, the spotlight on my face. I just hope you could hear me over the guy bowling all those strikes. You know what? Crystal is having a poetry meeting at lunchtime on Tuesday if you're available. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can make it. Damn. Well, you know what? That's all right, because I've got a friend who can burn you a DVD. Oh, just send it to me. I'll burn it. <laughs> oh, Oliver, speaking of Tuesday, are we going to be done by lunch? Oh, sure. Tuesday, what's happening on Tuesday? Oh, it's nothing. She's just coming in for a little follow-up exam. Really? Huh. Yeah, it's been six months since I put in her implants. Oh, that's funny. It's been six months since you got that camera, too. <laughs> well, let's go pick out a lobster. Okay, but you have to help me, because you know how hard this is for me. Well, this time, don't name them. Okay. <laughs> that was weird, wasn't it? What? The way Dad reacted when he heard about Crystal's appointment. I think he knows you asked her out. You know what you need to do? Oh, boy. No, seriously, you guys need to sit down and talk this through. Talk, communicate, share feelings. That is your answer for everything. Here's my answer. Oh, come on! Those lobsters make me so sad. They all look like such old souls. You know what? Let's have a toast to Crystal for the wonderful job that she did tonight. Oh, Crystal. Crystal. Thank you. Crystal. Thank you. Yeah. And here we are at Ming's, our family restaurant, where we spent so many wonderful nights. <gasps> Stuart. And one not so great one. Mom. Oh, hello, everyone. I thought you were going upstate. Yes, and I thought you were going to a surprise party. Well, surprise. <laughs> so, forgive me for interrupting what was clearly a festive occasion before the first Mrs. Barnes stumbled down from the attic and ruined it. Uh, come on, we are so sorry. Yeah, Mom, come on, sit down. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I, I have my takeout. I was working late on my cake, so I thought I'd drive up in the morning, but please, enjoy the restaurant that I introduced us to 30 years ago. Mom, would you like some company tomorrow? Only if you want to, Ben. Well, it is Maria's 80th birthday. I think we'd all like to go, right, guys? Right, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Who's Maria? Oh, she was a longtime housekeeper, a, a lovely lady. It's your 80th birthday and you're not going? Well, first of all, Lydia doesn't want me there. And second of all, we have our Jets tickets that we paid a fortune for. Oh, Stuart, I'd love for you to come. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, it's done. I'll see you all in the morning. Well, thanks for including us. Oh, don't thank me. Thank you, Brother Ben. Oh, we will. <laughs> 